I'm going to show you how to get Ubuntu 22.04 LTS going on LokiNet. So first let's go to the LokiNet website, LokiNet.org. Then click Download LokiNet. Click on the Linux Penguin. And we have instructions here how to do it. So first open the terminal and follow those instructions. So hopefully you've updated your system. So you run sudo apt update. That'll update the, the repositories and looks like all packages are up to date so we don't need to run the upgrade. You can run it for safety's sake. Shouldn't find anything. Correct. Found nothing. Then we'll need to install curl. There it went. Then we'll scroll down to the installation. Well, we can actually copy this install thing from here, so we'll just copy that, paste it in here, done, and then we'll add that to the package list. Now we'll run the update again, and then finally we'll install LokiNet. So we'll do sudo apt install. Looking at GUI. There it did it. Looking at should be started. You can check it with systemctl status. Looking at. Yep, it says it's active and running. Okay, Q quits it from there. If everything works, we should be able to ping. LokiNet site. So let's try pinging directory.loki. Usually takes a little bit for it to find it, if it's going to find it, and it did. There it goes. It's pinging. So now let's pull up a LokiNet site. Let's pull up eight, and they're all HTTP sites, so you have to define that before. So this is a directory that I upkeep. Auction directory. You can find places here. The LokiNet sites are at the bottom here like uh, there's a search where you can do search Google privately. But anyways looks like LokiNet works. Now let's see if we can get the the GUI working. So click on the GUI and sure enough it crashes. Alright so nah don't send it. Let's kill it. And then what you need to do to fix it is this. You will need to open up the desktop file. So you do sudo your favorite editor, in this case vi, usr share, applications, looking at GUI desktop. And then you see the editor, the line is right here. Kill that percent %u from there and add dash dash no sandbox. Save the file. To make it work, you'll need to log out. And log back in and then try it again. There it is. Now it starts. So now let's try the exit node. So there's a predefined exit node of exit.loki in there. It requires no auth codes. It's publicly available for anyone. It's kind of slow at times. So I'm going to hit connect. All right, it connected. Sometimes this log gives all kinds of garbage, but it's not giving it now. Open up terminal. Let's ping privacyproshop.com. And there it goes. When you're connected with exit.loki, you can check your IP address and it should give you an address in Staten Island, 199 something. 199, 195, 253, 224. That is an address, the exit.loki. If you do have trouble with DNS, you're not able to get to some sites, you can go edit the 
resolve conf head and then add the resolver that comes with LokiNet in here 127.3.2.1 and then you run resolve conf u to update your resolver and then you can verify that it worked by catting the etc resolve dot conf yep there it is so that should fix any DNS problems that you may have there it goes now if you want a faster node you can always disconnect from here and go to privacyproshop.com and purchase one of the Lokinet exit node. You can do one day option to try it. Just add to cart, place order. So scroll down to the bottom of the page to get your, so your password is right there and your available Lokinet. That's the Lokinet address. So you copy that guy, put it in here. And then take the uh, authentication code and go here, put it in and connect. LokiNet is still beta software and sometimes things just don't work. So quite often it gets fixed by shutting down the service and restarting it. So hit the kill button. shut it down and then restart it and there it is once you've restarted it re-entered the, the exit node and auth code if necessary you'll see that it's a lot faster actually it works it sometimes just quits that's all she wrote Thanks for watching.